Hello all, my name is Mike Hannigan and I'm the Chair of the Mechanical Engineering Department at the University of Colorado. In that role, it is my pleasure to welcome you all to the graduation of the Class of 2021. In a, typical, in a typical graduation day, I would have the honor of shaking hands with each of our graduates today, but today is not typical. It is unique. Our graduates are unique. You have reached today through determined and unparalleled resilience. I am thrilled to be here today to celebrate this amazing accomplishment and to welcome you to our alumni. Please stay in touch. After all, someday you may be the next person I get to introduce. In this role as department chair, I do have the honor of introducing our keynote speaker, Stephen Stegg. Stephen Stegg is a 1996 graduate of the CU Mechanical Engineering Department. He is the co-founder and chief technology officer of Blue Canyon Technologies working to lead their technology team in developing innovative microsatellites. In a risk-averse industry dominated by multi-billion dollar aerospace giants, <laughs> Blue Canyon was able to grow from a tabletop office at Pete's Coffee off of 29th Street to a 300 plus person company with $100 million in annual revenue. Prior to founding Blue Canyon, he was a mechanical engineer and mechanical engineering manager at the, at the Laboratory for Atmospheric Space Physics at the University of Colorado, or LASP, where he developed space-based sensors for NASA programs, including three missions to Mars. Steven's designs are currently on hundreds, hundreds of satellites. Steve has learned a couple of things along the way about engineering, business, and life that he'd like to share. Welcome, Steven. After four or five or six years of effort, you are all within one year of graduation. You are at the finish line. Getting through university, becoming a degreed mechanical engineer is a huge accomplishment, which reflects on the enormous amount of work and determination and effort that you, put, you all put in. You should all be very stoked to have accomplished this and you should feel great about it. I got some A's in college. I got lots of B's and I got a couple of C's. School is very hard and you don't get through it by being lucky. There are no shortcuts, but getting through school is hard enough, but you all did it with the extra challenges of COVID. You got through it with your own hard work and nobody knows that more than myself. And I'm thrilled to congratulate you all on this accomplishment. This is huge. The importance of following your dreams and interests. You've all heard this before and I believe it's true. You do your best work if you're interested and passionate about it. I co-founded Blue Canyon Technologies, which in the end required me to spend seven years working part-time to get it off the ground. And I did that while I had a full-time job and no spare money. It was only possible because I really enjoyed my work. I really loved what I was doing. I would encourage you not necessarily just to follow the highest paying opportunity that you have, but rather consider the day-to-day -day work and the future opportunities that will follow. While your first job may not be the exact same as your long-term dream, following your interests and passions will lead you to that dream. I worked for 18 years as a design engineer working for CU on NASA weather and climate instruments for satellites. Starting out, I had outstanding mentors, folks who could review my design and help steer me in the right direction. I quickly learned there's no such thing as partial credit in the real world. If you have a failure of an instrument on orbit, the mission could be lost. Many designs don't work during the first iteration, but they require lots of iteration and collaboration with others to get right. In 2008, when I co-founded Blue Canyon with two other engineers, we were of opposite political persuasion and we had different technology backgrounds. But the fact that we had a diverse background was one of the reasons for our success. We could listen to differing opinions and find some middle ground. The company was a startup with zero money. We didn't have an office. So the three of us would meet weekly over at Pete's Coffee off 29th Street. And we slowly migrated to Panera's because it had a larger table and had free Wi-Fi. We won some modest funding with AFRL to, to design uh, three satellite projects. One of the projects was a control system for, that you use to guide and point a satellite in any direction. These systems are common on large satellites that weigh hundreds of pounds and cost tens of millions of dollars, but nobody had ever de developed a very miniaturized version that, that would fly uh, guiding a cube satellite. It was a little bit like taking a desktop computer and shrinking it down to the cell phone to be a cell phone size. So we were a brand new company and we were doing things in a new way. Our system, it was only a four inch cube and it was designed to control a shoebox sized cube satellite. 
we designed it to use a small camera that would photograph the stars and use the stars to guide the satellites as they would fly through space. We designed the whole thing from scratch. It was really exciting. It was really challenging. And just to be clear, nothing worked at first. We had a lot of design issues, a lot of challenges. If we'd given up after the first or second or 10th design issue, the company would have failed. Persistence was essential. Working with a team was essential and getting diverse perspectives, even with people from people you disagree with was required. I could have never have started the company on my own and neither could my partners. It was a huge team effort and we all relied on each other. One of the first applications of our control system was for a JPL program called Marco. Marco were two cube satellites that were gonna fly all the way to Mars alongside the InSight lander that landed in 2018 on Mars. And the purpose of Marco was to relay the data of the landing back to Earth in real time. So it was basically a deep space network for data relay. The CubeSats, they were a new technology. Um, it was a little bit like launching a cell phone tower out into space so that in seven months, you can make a phone call back home. So for seven months, this mission, uh, all was normal. Um, these CubeSats were flying to Mars, guided by the control system that we developed at Blue Canyon, and the landing was only 11 hours away. The day of the landing, um, it was really exciting. But the day of, early in the morning, we got a call from JPL that one of the star trackers had stopped tracking stars on one of the satellites. And it was drifting, and it no longer had the data link back to Earth. And we thought, well, we've designed this to have two separate satellites for full redundancy. There's a second satellite flying alongside. But about an hour after that, the second satellite also dropped out and stopped tracking stars. And what it and so we did some quick analysis and we showed that there was a, a glint from the sun bouncing off the surface of Mars, blinding the cameras. The cameras that we were using to guide the satellites were being blinded by the sun right at Mars hours before the landing of the InSight lander. And so um, it looked like the mission could be a failure. There was a fatal flaw was identified um, at Mars hours before the main event of this landing and, and data relay mission. Um, a few hours went by in the morning. We were terrified and we slowly got the news back that one of the star trackers had started working again on one of the cube satellites and the antenna was repointed at earth and the data link was established. But an hour later, the second star tracker on the second cube satellite also repointed. Now what had happened is that satellites had moved enough so they were no longer being blinded by this reflection off of Mars surface into, into the cameras. Um, so the data relink was uh, data link was reestablished. The Insight lander landed on Mars, and the re the real time data was uh, sent back to Earth. And so the mission turned out to be a huge success, right? Um, it was really exciting. Um, it, it proved the the critical experiment of using these cube satellites to develop um, as the building block of uh, deep space uh, data relay. Um, a lot of hard work went into that mission by a lot of teams of engineers. But that day, we also had some luck. And as you go through life, you will need some luck as well. But I believe that you can make your own luck in life. When I was in college, I applied for an internship at last. I, didn't get, I did not get the job. Uh, I wasn't what they were looking for. They were looking to hire graduate students and I was an undergrad. So I started to attend. Um, so I discovered that they were teaching a class at last on spacecraft design. So I just started to attend. I just started to drop in week after week. I went to the class and I slowly discovered that everybody in the class were employees. I was the only person there that didn't have a job. And they realized that this, this kid is really excited and motivated and uh, a go-getter. And they ended up giving me a job. I made my own luck that day. Um, I had persistence, I took initiative, but that story isn't really that unusual. If you talk to people about how they got started, a lot of people uh, make their own luck by, um, by just going for it, by being persistent and um, pursuing all the avenues that they can. Reflecting on my career, I have some observations. First is getting a mechanical engineering degree has set you up for success. Compared with working as an engineer on satellite projects, and compared with co-founding a company and growing it to 300 people, getting a mechanical engineering degree is way more difficult than that. 
if you have it in you to get a mechanical engineering degree, you can do anything. You all have a great future ahead of you. I also have a little public service announcement. Your family and friends are super proud of your accomplishment. They've been rooting for you all along the way. Give them a call. They miss the heck out of you and they will wanna know how you're doing. Best of luck to everybody on your future and congratulations on this huge accomplishment. Thank you, Stephen, uh, for those inspirational words. Uh, my name is Peter Hamlington. I'm the chair of the graduate program in our department. And today I am pleased to present our candidates for the Doctor of Philosophy degree. Each of these students has made substantial original research contributions that have advanced the state of knowledge in their fields. Through many hours in the lab and office, these students have ventured to the limits of human understanding and capabilities and then extended those limits. And I think it is worth noting that they did so this year under extremely difficult circumstances. So today we honor the perseverance, talent, and creativity of these students. Typically, this honor is bestowed during a traditional hooding ceremony. Uh, the regalia involved in this ceremony originated in the early universities of medieval Europe where graduates adopted modified religious attire to indicate their learned status. In modern times, we use similar attire, which consists of the mortarboard, the hood, which is what I'm wearing here, and the robe to honor those who have reached the highest levels of academic achievement. So now I would like to invite Professor Yifu Ding to present the candidates for Doctor of Philosophy in Mechanical Engineering. Thank you, Peter. Uh, my name is Yifu. I'm a professor in the Mechanical Engineering Department. It's my great honor to present the uh, PhD graduates uh, of this year. Ali Ablimit, advised by Dr. Xiaobo In. Jeannie Bartold advised by Dr. Corey New. Jacob Hutfless, advised by Dr. John Pellegrino. Inan Lu, advised by Dr. Ron Long. David Fortenhauer, advised by Dr. Mike Hannigan. Corey Wetterer Nelson, advised by Dr. John Evans. Rachel Wilmoth, advised by Dr. Stephanie Bryant. Congratulations to all. Thank you, Yufu. My name is Rob McCurdy. I'm an assistant professor here in mechanical engineering. Students in the Master of Science program complete rigorous advanced study to help them tackle new and more challenging engineering problems as they move forward in their careers. It's now my privilege to present the candidates for Master of Science in Mechanical Engineering. Rhythm Agarwal. Alex Arment. Thomas Buckholz. Shane Cho. Abigail Clark. Mark Clementi. Henry Dixon. Sagar Eligar. Justin Enbrecht. Stephen Evans. J. 
Jamie Frankel. J.G. Gao. John Glista. Spencer Green. Michelle Jewett. Gabrielle Kleinwax. Hemant Kumar. Sydney Levy. Vivak Manupali. Gary Marshall. Kedar Mora. Winston Mosley. Karun Mubala. Aditya Pandi. Mayank Pant. Danielle Park. Tayuvan Parker. Byron Politisig. Eric Quigg. Abinya Ramudugu. Jacob Riley. Ellen Rumley. Julia Sekovitz. Yatinder Sumpathkumar. Michelle Shinoy. Ankit Shukla. Colin Smith. Lawrence Smith. Junior Sundar. Calvin Swanson. Brenton Toback. William Say. Ushna Usman. Amando Fihil. Hannah Walsh. Brian Weatherby. Sean Wilcox. Turner Williams. Joseph Wilson. Kendi Shia. Zachary Yoder. Howdy folks, my name is Dr. Mike Walker, <clears throat> excuse me, and I would like to start by congratulating our senior students on their graduation as mechanical engineers from the University of Colorado. We have been incredibly impressed with your hard work and your outstanding efforts over the past several years, and we are very excited to see where you will go and how you will influence our shared future. We are so proud of all of you and we want to thank you for your perseverance over these particularly difficult last few semesters. 
I personally can't wrap my head around having to take senior design system dynamics and deal with homework three remotely all over this past year as you folks have. You should all be proud of yourselves and what you have accomplished. It is also my honor today to present two exemplary mechanical engineering students who have received college level outstanding graduate awards. Kai Sway has been selected as the College of Engineering and Applied Sciences 2021 Outstanding Graduate for Research and Academic Engagement. She is passionate about the space industry and has found opportunities both within and beyond CU to explore that passion. Her work has spanned from studying Earth's atmosphere to thermal vacuum testing of spacesuits to working with a student team to design a Martian greenhouse for NASA's Big Idea Challenge. She has completed internships with four different divisions of NASA, served as a solar phys physics instrumentation intern at NCAR, and traveled to the Arctic to collect ozone data as a research assistant for the Institute of Arctic and Alpine Research. Throughout her time at CU, she has so shown a strong commitment to learning, teamwork, and always pushing forward to find a new horizon to explore. After graduation, she will continue her work with NASA at the Johnson Space Center. Congratulations, Kai. Lisa Tenorio has been selected as the College of Engineering and Applied Sciences 2021 Outstanding Graduate for Perseverance. Her academic journey at CU started off with many setbacks, which she worked tremendously hard to overcome and along the way discovered a passion for helping others overcome challenges of their own. She has served as a peer mentor for CU's Fresh Start program for the past three semesters, working with dozens of students to help them gain the confidence and skills that they need to succeed in engineering. In addition to her work with Fresh Start, Lisa has also found her niche as a technical intern at Sierra Nevada Corporation and has accepted a full-time offer to continue on at the Sierra Nevada Corporation as a mechanical engineer after graduation. Congratulations, Lisa. Hello, everyone. My name is Nicole Labby, and I have the pleasure of introducing another special group of students. Even though our department has some truly amazing students, not everyone can be recognized at the college level, which is why we'd like to recognize our other college award nominees. The other nominees from our department are Jaheen Asan for Perseverance, Kashik Kunan for Academic Engagement, Oksana Mejia for Community Impact, Claire Meyer, for global engagement, Hannah Skula Daughter for community impact, and Greg Lund for academic engagement. Congratulations to the six of you for your remarkable accomplishments during your time at CU. Hello, my name is Daniel Knight, and I'm honored to be here today. Uh, to introduce one of my former students, Emily Zutel. Emily has been selected as the College of Engineering and Applied Sciences 2021 Outstanding Graduate of the College and Outstanding Graduate for Global Engagement. She is passionate about using engineering to work towards advances in human health, renewable energy, and sustainable development. She has served as president of Engineers Without Borders as a research assistant in the Advanced Medical Technologies Lab and as an intern at both the National Renewable Energy Laboratory and Medtronic. After graduation, Emily will be pursuing a PhD in engineering and public policy at Carnegie Mellon University studying sustainable energy system de deployment in East Africa. We would like to congratulate Emily and have also invited her to join us today as our student speaker. Please welcome Emily Zutel. Hi, thank you. Um, so mechanical engineering class of 2021, congratulations. I feel very lucky to have shared classrooms and Zoom meetings with all of you these past four years. 
Standing here today, we have persevered through verifiably some of the strangest, most challenging years of our mechanical engineering career. And though our degrees may have wrapped up in an unconventional fashion, they were especially hard earned. This may be most aptly summed up by me trying to explain to my parents last summer why I was lighting a takeout container on fire in the backyard for a manufacturing lab. What I loved most about this mechanical engineering class here at CU is that it was a true team endeavor. We rose together, navigating our CAD class drones through the obstacle course and fell together, often in spectacular fashion, like taking out the component design runoff tunnel, the slightly unstable Scooby-Doo themed drill powered trike. Most importantly, we supported each other and challenged each other to become better engineers and better people. When I sat down to write this speech in proper collaborative fashion, asked my classmates what they wanted to hear at graduation. Surprisingly, we weren't excited to hear about how it's been exactly 417 days since COVID changed our lives. So instead of focusing on what we lost, I want to recognize what we've gained in that time. We were forced to discover our resilience and creativity to make the most tenacious class that this department has ever seen. In senior design, we proved that even when we're forced apart, we build truly amazing things together. This class rose to the challenges of the times. And I'm hopeful because we are the engineers designing a brighter, safer, healthier, more sustainable future. As we continue moving forward to our next steps, let us be empowered by the challenges we faced to get here today. With that, congratulations and SCO buffs. Hi everyone, my name is Davin Henze and I'm a professor in the mechanical engineering department and also chair of the undergraduate program. Uh, it's my honor uh, in collaboration with uh, Dr. Mike Walker to present the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering. Heather Abate. Joheen Asan. Mohammed Al Sabri. Joel Alexander. Grant Allgood. Mohammed Al Rashid. Summer Andrews. Brandon Apps. Sohan Aryal. Jason Atwood. David Balsells. Jeremy Balderrama. Eliza Beischer. William Bird. Aaron Bobby. Megan Borfitz. Connor Bossenbrock. Eric Bourgeois. Thomas Boyd. Adam Bradshaw. Josh Brenner. Aldwin Bretu. Ryan Brink. Max Brooks. Evan Brown. James Brown. Paris Bedell. Justin 
Buen viaje. Michael Burns. Alden Burr. Davis Butte. Lucas Casa de Vito. Connor Sedzik Grant. Vishwamurti Chandrashakar. Ryan Cochran. Justin Cochran. Gretchen Conley. Sean Connolly. Quinton Cook. Brock Cross. Kai Sway. Junior Dai. Rachel Davidson. Abdul Dalazi. Wyatt Dickerson. Paul D. Tomas. Jackson Dixon. Iwana Dumitru. Axel Escareno. Tim Farver. Star Fassler. Hayden Fetter. Jeremy Fisher. Nolan Gao. Peter Geitz. Dave George. Chris Gibbs. Noah Gilsdorf. Rebecca Geip. Ashley Glass. Reed Glaze. Garrett Golding. Marshall Graybill. Chase Greenberg. Eric Greishaber. Patrick Gruber. Lindsey Guerrero. Alex Gustafson. Daniel Hagewood. Jacob Haynes. Reed Harrington. Thomas Hart. Austin Hageman. Alexander Hine. Alexander Herman.
Justin Hilbert. Kirsty Hodgkins. Adam Hoffman. Stryker Holland. Ben Hussa. Mohammed Jalali. Brandon Jelke. Niels Johnson. Tabor Johnston. Jacob Jones. Zach Jordan. Sarah Jong. Kaushik Kanan. Colby Kiter. Cole Keller. Austin Shiwan Kim. Evan Kirk. William Copper. Michael Kuznetsov. Kyle Kraus. Devin Croker. Cole Krupa. Catherine Kubaki. Megan Lay. Lucas Lestoxi. Tuck Lee. Jake Light. Lane Levine. Justin Lim. Hannah Livingston. Sayor Lostra. Angel Luna. Greg Lund. Katie McDonald. Emma Martin. Judson Martin. Nick Mascarenas. Ben Masters. Charlie McClung. John McEwen. Alexander McGurk. Mark McKenna. Will McKinnon. Lucas McMahon. Hunter Meisner. Oksana Mejia. Claire Meyer.
Mia Miller. Anna Mahler. Jack Moran. Daedalus Muse. Joshua Negre. Hannah Newton. Nicholas Nikolai. Colton Oglesby. Abigail Oglesby. Colin Poffreth. Edgar Palma. William Fouts. Owen Phillips. Aaron Pickens. Garrett Pearson. Jace Pavanka. Kreja Pliskin. Tom Poor. Eric Quintanilla. Alex Ramirez. Beruz Rashidov. Eric Reddersheet. Robert Reed. Jimmy Rizkala. Kristalina Roberts Miller. Giovanni Avitia. Garrett Rorick. Michelle Romero. Chad Ronish. Maya Rudd. Ian Sleeper. Tristan Schumann. James Schultz. Callum Schulz. Anwar Shaban. Braden Shelley. Eric Skoogland. Hannah Skuladotter. Nick Sloan. Tatiana, Tatiana Srinivasan. Andy Starr. Jordan Stockdale. Sinfu Su. Brandon Tagney. Nicholas Tennis. Lisa Tenorio. Amanda Tetro.
Andrew Thorson. Joseph Torres Anariba. David Tercio. Dylan Travis. Bridger Fallon. Brett Walker. Jillian Weber. Valerie Welsh. Spencer White. Eric Wilkinson. Jack Wilson. Kelly Wynn. Eric Witter. Ryan Wong. Jossimar Woodman. Sarah Warrenoff. Miles Wright. Matthew Wykaff. Kevin Yang. Autumn Zemlicka. Lawrence Zhao. Emily Zatel. Jenna Swanstra. Hi, I'm Nathan McNeil. I'm the director of the engineering partnership programs between the University of Colorado Boulder and Colorado Mesa University. And I'm now pleased to present the Colorado Mesa University partnership program candidates for Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering. Alexander Bright Cruz, Samuel Brennan, Gregory Castanuela, Jeremy Clausen, Tia Klemmer, Jacob Dexter, Zachary Elliott, Andrew Karnovka, Kyle Crowland, Justin Marker, Jose Martinez Lochamin, Jay Matheson, Lucas Mitchell, Hannah Moore, Kyle Newborn, Jack Pezdertz, Derek Rourke, Ismail Ruiz Megana, Garrett Schulz, Jackson Shaw, Peter Stefanik. Joseph Stoltz. Dalton Walters. Zebulon White. Thank you, Nathan. I'm Daria Cota Schwartz, a teaching professor here in mechanical engineering. And I'm Julie Steinbrenner, and senior instructor here in mechanical engineering. And I am Dan Riffle, scholar in residence, and with Dr. Cota Schwartz and Dr. Steinbrenner, we are the executive directors of the senior design program. And we are here to usher you out the door safely. Um, 
When an oxygen tank ruptured, destroying part of the Apollo 13 spacecraft, the astronauts were faced with the realization that their isolation put them in a situation where, with dire consequences. Um, however, they were able to collaborate with engineers from around the world to solve a multitude of technical challenges and navigate home safely. That was 51 years ago. And although we've been physically isolated due to the pandemic, it's important to realize that you're about to enter a community of engineering professionals who are willing to share their expertise, their strategies, and their past experiences with you. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that although you may feel currently separated, you're not alone, and we all look forward to collaborating with you. This past year, you, like the astronauts of Apollo and people all over the world, have had to innovate in your means of collaborating because communication was no longer as simple as talking with the person sitting next to you. You've had to rely on your own resourcefulness and your ability to work independently, and you have proven without a doubt that you can do this successfully. Now, as you enter your professional careers, we hope that you'll contribute to, rely on, and build relationships with the support and connections of a collaborative community of colleagues, mentors, friends, and family, and that you'll thank and recognize those people who have helped and supported you along the way. Though we've been physically separated, we're all closely connected, and we're cheering for you here, um, and, we, and we know that there's people cheering around the world for your accomplishments today. We hope you'll come back to visit us when you have a chance to, um, and we want to wish you congratulations. Though we know not all of you have your regalia today, this time-honored tradition is a consequential milestone for all of our graduates. So graduates, please stand at home. We recognize the conferral of your bachelor's, your master's and doctoral degrees in mechanical engineering as indicated with all the rights, privileges and responsibilities pertaining thereto. You may now move your tassels from right to left. Welcome to the University of Colorado ME alumni family and go Buffs. <laughs>